I'm selling two tickets to the gun show, fellas. Anybody want to buy some? Anybody want to challenge me in the gym to um, uh, who could do the best curls? I guarantee you ain't going to win. But seriously, today's show, I had a woman come into my um, channel talking shit, of course. Not to put women down, but yeah. Let's see if I can find her comment. Okay, so under my video title, How I Pimped My Words at Women, it's probably the title or something like that. But she came in and said, is this the career you imagined for yourself as a young child? Is this the impact on the world that your whole life will be reduced to when you pass away? Is this your legacy in life? Proud to be a sex expert, are you? I'm watching this hella stunned. Like you could have been the first black president, not in my day and age. Plus, I'm not half black. Uh, Obama won because he was half black. Okay, White folks accepted that. The ones that have issues. They kind of accepted that. That helped them get in there. Plus, it was the right time. Uh, founded a non-profit for children, solved world hunger. No, nope, science was not my my path. Changed humanity for the better, which I am doing. Nope, just click pimp sex expert. Wow. Nobel Peace Prize is on the way. Highly disappointing life. God bless you, brother. Okay. Uh, let me, first of all, address um, first black, I, I've done that. Uh, found a non-profit for children. Nope, I actually didn't want children. But one of your breed, one of your brethren, uh, stopped taking a birth control pill so I would get her pregnant. And what did I do? I married her. So that was taken out of my hands. Solve world hunger? No, not my interest. Uh, was it yours? What have you done with your life? Have you solved world hunger? Have you tried to become the first female black president? Have you tried to uh, win a Nobel Peace Prize? You fake religious people make me laugh. You're pathetic. They're Trinity Empress. So I went and looked at your channel, and I see you have Joel Osteen. How mighty white of you. Uh, you don't have a, a black minister up there, do you? Then you also have a facing codependency, so you have ran into brothers like me, and you're wondering what, why, and I'll get to that in just a minute. But she also teaches tarot cards. That doesn't go with Christianity, by the way. So you're basically two-faced, even about your, your so-called professions of God. Two-faced, as your brethren usually are. You over-type religious zealots. You listen to a lot of, of R&B music. You're following a life coach named Sean. And I see what created you. You had a bad relationship with a dude. He fucked you over. So, and you're wondering how he got, how he got so much up into your head. You got a bunch of women, uh, female artists. So you listen to music. You haven't done shit with your life. What do you do for a living? But that that tarot thing. And you got to, wow. What is this? Bell's comedy show with um, a tarot card photo on it. Then you have the nerve to have Joel Osteen. You up you loaded it yesterday in fact. And where's the black preachers? Now I would educate you on the church. I don't think I really want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my time and teach you about the iconoclast period where Europeans whitewashed all of the, the religious icon or iconography. No. I won't tell you about how the Bible was created in 325 AD. They put the Bible together. I'm referring to Europeans. But there was actually a black, listen to me, a, the, one of the leaders was a black man. I won't tell you about the three black popes. No. I'll leave you in your ignorance. 
I won't teach you about the history in this country. They didn't let us read. Only the book they let us read was the Bible. And we had to preach exactly what they had to say because that man sat in our church. I won't teach you any truth. I'll leave you buried in your stupidity. Now, as for what I do for, for, for men out there, because that's what you're really attacking. See, in your ignorance and in your whole I'm holier than thou bullshit, you didn't see what I was really doing. I'm helping men all over the world regain their masculinity. Now, you're probably so stuck in your bullshit, you don't realize that men have become feminized all over the world. That there's really serious dating problems all over the world. See, you're so stuck in God is my witness and I rebuke thee, Satan. That black religious nonsense that we got all caught up in. That you don't see what's going on out there. That men are hurting out there. Just like you women are hurting. You don't see that I, I help men regain their confidence. Because you're stuck in your ignorance. You don't see that I teach men sex skills, which benefits you guys. Okay, you're, you're African American. You got a, a light-skinned woman with her head on your breast. Got a little belly on you. Some big arms. Fat arms. You actually need my other services. But it still benefits you women. By teaching these men sex skills, you guys benefit from it. Because I teach them to please the woman first. How many brothers have you ran into that got themselves off and didn't even give a damn about you? Hmm? Even, that's probably the new thing that's coming down in the black community. Instead of the old stuff of my generation. Please the woman first. I teach men conversation skills. How many brothers you ran into can't talk worth the shit? So that, that makes it easier for you to get laid. I help men also... Now listen carefully, because you totally didn't pay enough attention to my videos. You saw one video and do that religious thing and judge me. I help men find their purpose in life. What were you born to do? To judge me? What did, you, what did your Jesus say? That he who is without sin cast the first stone? Yes, I read the Bible. I am an African American, remember? So you don't really pay attention to what Jesus says. You're one of those, those black fake Christians. Go to church, wave in your hand, get up, get out happy. Peek around, see who's watching you. I help men start a part-time business, as I'm always on my fellows to do. How dare you try to judge me when you're beneath me? No, I wouldn't date you, but you're still beneath me on life accomplishments. I have a channel where I'm teaching. What do you have? Huh? I also teach men how to walk away. When they're with a, a bad female, I teach them to walk the fuck away. Because I give them the confidence to be able to replace women like you. Now, I say women like you because I'm judging you by what you just tried to do to me. That was stupid. You should have actually looked further. Instead, stuck in your religious shit, which is fake anyway. Look at tarot cards, tarot readings. That's not godly what the European church teaches. See, they're all up in your mind. They own you. Listen to Joel Osteen, which I do like Joel Osteen. I actually do listen to Joel Osteen. I teach men how to have that confidence, and I teach them to stay cool. When they find out someone like you or one of your, your brethren, other females, have cheated on them, they don't kill them. So I'm helping reduce the, the deaths out there in situations like this. How to stay cool. So that you don't get beat the fuck up. I teach men how not to be emotional females. As I'm get as I got on one of the one of the viewers of my channel recently. I'm basically teaching men how to become better men. 
so they can become better leaders so that you benefit by having a better life. I'm making men, men again. You know what the quality of men are out there that you're dealing with, if you're dealing with any men and not, not females, judged by the, the light-skinned female on your chest and you're leaning into your photo. I'm making men, period, that sorely need, especially in the black communities, these black ones, black guys trying to lead from the back. I'm trying to get them to come out in the front and lead you to the promised land. Now, what's the benefit to you? Well, number one, you get a, get a fool that, that cares about your orgasms, at least. Number two, you get a leader that's going to lead you in a direction. Number three, you, you won't get these dusty black dudes if they fucking listen to me. You'll get a dude that's becoming a hard potential earner that cares about his life, that wants to come up. See, you did the stupid thing that girls can do sometimes. Come in and, ju and judge immediately. And then you did the, the black religious thing. It's sad. You're pathetic. Your entire group is pathetic. Come in. I rebuke thee, son of Satan. I'm looking at the channel. You don't, you don't contribute. You have no videos you've created. You're a consumer. That's all. You just watch videos. And other people's videos. Well, you're not allowed to watch mine anymore. I just banned you. Because if you start the way you start, the way you finish, and I'm not going to continue to let a jackass roll over my goddamn channel making stupid comments based on immaturity and that black religious shit. I know you're going to condemn me for that. If you knew the truth, you wouldn't. If you knew the real truth, you really wouldn't. I don't have time to educate you. But good luck to you. Let me take off my glasses. As I've gotten older, I need readers. I don't wear them during the day. A lot of people interpret glasses as weakness. Don't interpret that me as weak. There's nothing weak about me, little girl. Have a good life. Before I leave, fellas, these women don't realize that I help them in their lives. I know that seems <laughs> just funny. But when they get tired of players, they straighten up and they start marrying the nice guys out there. After coming through me, they wisen up because they don't want that kind of emotional pain anymore of dealing with the player. So they get benefit all around. They get the better sex than anyone else has given in their lives. They get a man that's going to lead them. Then they learn from that situation because we are each other's teachers. Nobody's better than anyone else out there. Every time you get into a relationship, you learn from each other. That's why I tell you, get that first girl. You'll learn from each other. You'll learn to be about what kind of man you are and you can grow from there. Okay? Don't let this type of female fool you. They're stuck in their stupidity. Their ignorance. So, fellas, I hope this female has learned something. She didn't realize that I also have an offline business. She thinks all I do is teach you guys how to have sex. But I explained to her in my written comment back to her and asked her, you know, what are you doing with your life? And why aren't you a Mr. Uh, president and shit like that? But um, uh, when people come at you like that, use intelligence, okay? Don't just get all emotional. You've always seen me always use my intelligence, okay? When you get, get all emotional, Jonathan, then you lose your cool. You lose your ability to think and to reason. Peace.